Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Chad. We're back with another episode of Bloodborne. And I went ahead and started us out in Old Yarnum. We're going to go ahead and fight the Blood Starved Beast. Fastest way to get to this, guys, is take a right, right out of the door. Come down this way. Da, 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 da. And then head down. And I somehow missed it on my last video. When you're in uh, the Hunter's Dream, up at the top of the stairs, there's a beckoning bell. And you actually need to pick that up so that you can summon the NPC guys uh, if you want help on the boss fight. I was kind of confused what I was running through because normally right outside the Blood Starved Beast, there's a little symbol on the ground where you can summon them. And it wasn't there, and that's when I realized, oh, you did not pick up the bell. So we got it. And we're headed to it. And now this nice glowing thing shows up here. We're going to go ahead and summon Alfred. And whenever you do summon one of these guys, it's going to use up one of your insight. So just keep that in mind. And you can see that's that guy we talked to and we chose to communicate with him. So now he's going to help us out. Okay, for this boss fight, they, he does do a lot of poison in his last stage. So make sure you have antidote. Uh, Molotovs are also going to be helpful as well as using the flame sprayer. So let's do it. And this guy is real similar to the Cleric Beast, except this guy's a pretty decent amount faster, so just keep that in. Come on, guy. That's not nice at all. Let's go ahead and put on some fire. And when you're fighting this guy also, he's a good boss to use those pungent blood cocktails on because you can, uh, he'll go for it and then you can get a visceral attack. But when you have an NPC guy helping, it's pretty easy to get those pulled off. Okay, and you can see he just switched into another one of his moves, so he's going to step up his stuff. Draw him back so our guy can have a chance to heal over there. Hopefully he will lose it. Yes, he did. Right, he just transformed into his last mode. He's basically going to have clouds of poison just go out of the Watch out for that. And we got slow poison. We're going to get the and you can see how just getting in that cloud will poison you, even if he doesn't want you to jump for that.
this week. And join me in this That's it. And he drops the Puthermu Chalice, or however you say it. And that's going to be the first one you can do. <clears throat> it's right up here. Hit this lamp. And then on the back side, there's going to be some extra antidote just in case you ran out. So now we're going to take a trip back to Cathedral Ward. We're just going to teleport there. save us some time so we don't have to run all the way back through. <clears throat> okay, so this, uh, he is... Oh, I'm an idiot. We could have just went to this lamp right here. Don't do that. Go to the lamp. Sometimes it's easier to talk than it is to play. I will say that. Okay, where were we? The Bloodstarved Beast is optional. You don't have to fight him to complete the game. However... He opens up a new area in Cathedral Ward, which is the old workshop. And we can go through there to get to a secret area. And that's also the way you're going to go to open up one of those gates and not have to pay the, the 10,000 blood echoes. So. So we're back here. Let's go talk to this lady real quick, see if she's going to be friendly yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, so here's the new area. Come in here. Oh yeah, we got to jump on it. Okay, we're not going to take it all the way to the top the first time. Get ready to roll out. And this is going to take us to a secret area to get our first rune. Not that we can use it yet. chest right here. It's another messenger thing if that is your thing. I don't use them so that's up to you if you want to grab it. Let's go back. Now we gotta pull the lever. Alright, when you walk out of here, uh, you're going to want to head to the right. There's going to be a machine gun wielding old person. Quick work of him, then hit this other chest. And again here, you're going to be getting shot at from up top, so run through. Right, there's going to be... Oh no, that's not the way. We're not going to go right, we're going to go left. There he is. Is unfortunate. Okay, nonetheless. This is actually the secret area. Didn't want to go here first, but here we are, so let's do it. No big deal. You can always come back. We are going to get that one. Though. All right, when you're right here, make sure you just walk off. Don't run, otherwise you're gonna end up dying. Oh 
Okay, and there's going to be a new type of enemy right here. He's like a walking werewolf type cow thing. I don't know who he is. But you won't like him when he's angry. Huge combo. Nice. We fought the beast to get the beast. That's going to be another room. Can't use it yet, but good to have. <clears throat> and that guy, once you kill him, he will not respawn, so you only got to fight him that one time. Okay, you can talk to that guy if you want. He doesn't do anything good. Head down to the left. There's gonna be a dog. Not yet. Just... There it is. Your boy. Okay. And to your right, that's gonna be one of the dream grabber whatever you want to call him. He's pretty tough and he can pretty much one shot you so we're going to skip him for now. Hang a left and this is going to be where we get that shortcut. Very nice. Okay. And the lever's around here somewhere. There it is. Go ahead and pull this one. Very good. Okay, you can see this is that first area that we came out of from Cathedral Ward where it dead ended up here at the top and then that shield. So that's this area. Hang a left. Don't worry about those guys. And this is going to be the other gate. Actually, that's not the other gate. The other gate is over here. That range, son. This is the other gate. There it is. And this is the top of the stairs where we had that guy. Not to worry about him for the moment, so let's just go back. Okay, this big area, lots of items, pretty much all of them is Madman's Knowledge. Uh, we don't have to really worry about that for right this second. Let's go off this direction. And do watch out, because this guy has a little bit of Him down, come over here, you can have one crow. And some thick cold blood. When thin cold blood just won't do. Alright, take him out. Let's keep on trekking. Another item up here. Poison knife. Very nice. Right. Angle left. These two NPCs are going to be also people that you can send either to 
uh, back to the Cathedral Ward Chapel or to Yusefka's clinic. I think we know what she wants. Uh huh. We do know of a very safe place. Okay, and we're going to want to tell her, Odin Chapel, if you send her to the other place, she'll be gone for good. And this guy is going to be the opposite. He's not going to trust you. So he'll do the opposite of what you tell him. Oh, okay, on this guy, we'll actually have to wait till we come back through. He waits for her to leave, which she will after we uh, get out and reload the area, and then he'll have a different dialogue option. He doesn't, he, you can talk to him once he goes back to the, uh, watch out for that guy, hello, once he goes back to the chapel, but he never gives you anything, so it's kind of, yeah, you can do it if you want. You made us leave him. This guy doesn't do anything for you. This guy is a beast. So be very careful. He will mess you up if he gets you. And he also got other guys popping out of nowhere trying to ruin your day. Not today, sir. Not today. Okay, on the left and right, you got more. Actually, just the left. You can talk to them. They're not going to do anything. Got the church set. Looking good. You got this guy up here shooting at you. You can't do anything. Run around to the left and you'll have to take out a couple of his lackeys first. So let's do that. Wow. He completely missed me and I missed him. That was strange. No, oh, that is not good. That is not good for business. Ah, oh, come on, really? That's the bad thing about being locked on. Because if you get stuck, like, on a wall or something, it doesn't give you, even if you're trying to dodge, you can't do anything. Nonetheless, live and learn. I'm going to go get my shit back. Come on. Okay, to get back to where we just were, and so that's a new area now. Uh, just run through here, hang a right. Go ahead and ignore any bad guys you see, unless you want to fight them. I'm more worried about getting my 10,000 back, so. That's also someone we can summon that's for a different boss fight. We don't need them yet, so. If you want to use up an insight, they'll actually, whoa, there's one we missed. How are you doing? More cold blood. I haven't actually used any of my cold blood yet. May have to do that in the future. Keep on trucking. Pass this guy up. This guy I will kill just because I don't like the way he's walking over and away from me. Trying to follow me. It's like, no, I want to hang out with you. Uh -huh. Okay, we got this guy. This dude up this nap real quick and let's fight this shit out of here again. There we go. 
38. Time is the charm. Poison knives got more. No one picked them up. That's pretty surprising. I'm gonna bring that guy back. Okay, we got our blood echoes back. We are doing good. Right, let's go. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Right, let's go kill this pain in the ass that's shooting at us. Okay, and you're gonna hear a guy up here. He won't drop off unless he's right by the ledge. Okay, I'm gonna go up the ladder. <laughs> Must climb faster. Must climb faster. Okay. Nude over here. And that is going to be the clue to how we will proceed from Cathedral Ward into the next area of the game, uh, but we do have to fight a boss. Actually, a couple bosses first before we can, so. You can see that's back at that main kind of area. Don't forget there's a dog right there. It's wrecking shot. Okay. One more item. <clears throat> okay, you can either go up this way, or you can come around here and get hit in the back by that guy with the giant eggs. No big deal. We got one more area to go check out. Item here, numbing mist. I don't think there's any items. But let's get a double check. Ah, I lied. Ah, just a messenger hat. That would have been no big loss. Okay, so we're back to where we were, more or less. So we do not want to go that way. You die now. Now let me go ahead and summon this person. Not that we're going to fight a boss right now, but just so I'll have someone else kicking some ass with me. Could be fun. Okay, like I was saying, you can either go up the main staircase. That's the ladder we went up. Or you can come up this side path, which I'm going to do. Grab this item over here. That was not intentional. And 
now we've got Hime in trying to kill us. Don't you just die? There we go. Six hours later, we got it. <clears throat> and this whole area will be a lot easier if you're doing a strength build. It's uh, when you're running a skill build, you don't start getting whole lot of damage until even later in the game. Okay, we're gonna come up here and make sure we're not missing any items. No. And these guys are gonna inflict a new type of damage, which is Frenzy. If the bar gets all the way to the top, it will more or less take all of your health. Hit my friend, dude. It's not nice. Super distracted, so this is not good. Okay, that being taken care of. Go up here. Okay, there's a few ways you can go about this. If you go to the right, there's gonna be a couple hunters uh, you can fight along with a few items over that way straight up to the top is going to be the required boss to get past this area which is Vicar Amelia however if we hang a left here this will get us in the direction of Hemwick Charno Lane where we fight the crazy witches and that's what we're going to do Picking up a few items here along the way. That's kind of strange. I've never seen that. They said, no, you cannot go here. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we don't know what's going on with that, so we'll go do a different quest. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up all these madman's knowledge while we're here. Da -da -da. Talk to that guy and his ridiculous range. Seriously, he like skid that 38 feet in front of him. Not cool, man, not cool. Okay. We got something way over here in the corner. More cold blood, good deal. Okay, we've got one other area. Let's see, where is it at? This way. And the guy in this area... We haven't seen him before. And basically, he'll do a grab move, and if he gets you, he will attach onto your head and start sucking out your insight. Go ahead and hit him with a poison knife. Oh, and he's got a wicked combo also. I tried to attack him, but for some reason, he didn't do anything. And then that crow is definitely not helping matters. That did it. And only kill the stupid crow. Those can be the bane of your existence. They're really not that difficult, but when they get in the way like that, sheesh. 
Okay. Twin bloodstone shards. That's the first one we've got. Nice. Okay, this area is where we came up a minute ago where you had that guy shooting at you. You don't have to go back down there. Let's get this item here. Shining coins. And this is actually going to be the way we proceed after we go through the whole witch's area. I'm just going to go pick up the items now since we're here. Let's show you what it's like. And this door here, it's where that note was referencing where he's going to ask you for a password. We don't know the password yet. So it only gives you the option to keep quiet. So let's go back up. And what we will do instead, let's go back to the old church workshop. And let's get that. Let's get that one finished out. I really do have no idea why that Hemwick Charnel Lane is blocked off. I'm pretty sure you did not have to fight Vicar Amelia first. So I don't know what's going on with that. We'll get it figured out. Just gonna run past these guys. He's probably gonna hit me anyway from all the way across the map. No big deal. All right. Any of you guys. It gets much better later in the game when you have more stamina. I can run for longer periods of time. It doesn't take forever. And what I'll actually do, I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream and level up real quick. Well, that's strange. And that is blocked off too. Wow, I do not know what is going on here. Yeah, let's try to do a try to do a bold hunter's mark. See what happens. Something got bugged out apparently. You can't do that either. What in the world? A cathedral ward is going on here. This is seriously strange. I've never experienced this, so. If you're confused, I'm also confused. Okay, I thought that guy was sleeping. This one to check. I really don't want to have to die. Just to. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to sacrifice ourselves in the name of science. But we're going to do it real close to the main area so I don't have to fight back to get my blood echoes. Okay, so there's the chapel. Let's just let this guy kill us. Come on. Come on. They fight much harder when you're fighting them back. If you just stand there, it's like, eh, maybe I'll attack you, maybe I won't. I don't know. Okay, so I'll be interested to see if that fixed it. Otherwise, I don't know. Chaos. Chaos theory. Okay, let's see. That's unblocked now. That's the weirdest thing. Okay, let's go get our stuff back. You can already tell that guy has it, so let's just get him a little bit too.
we're gonna go back to the hunter's dream now that we can so we can spend some of these blood echoes and level up. Okay guys. Here we go. Got leveled up. Let's wait on the elevator. Dun 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 dun. And I'm not even gonna fight this guy. I'm just gonna keep on running. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other guy. And hopefully I can get this imp this time. And he did fall, but he fell to an area we can get him. Nice, finally. The upper part of this, if you went straight into that room, there's a chest there, and then there's a chest, I think, on the third floor up. Uh, that whole area though dead ends until later in the game because you need a key to get through one of the rooms so I decided to go ahead and skip that for now uh, until we get a little bit closer okay you can see what we just did just angle it and then jump off with a roll towards those ropes and this is going to take us to the secret old hunter dream Abandoned old workshop. Okay, and you can see it looks basically like the hunter's dream. It does kind of dictate where you can go. There's a few items here we can get, so let's just do that. Okay, the first one small hair ornament if you give that to the doll back in the regular dream uh, then she'll give you a rune or I'm sorry a, a gem one third of umbilical cord that's gonna be useful for later on I'm not gonna go over it now and old hunter bone that's mainly for an arcane build kinda lets you teleport around I'm not doing arcane on this one and then the doll outfit and because we're not doing arcane, we won't even be able to use that. And we'll return to the hunter's dream. And with that, guys, I think we're going to call it an episode. The There is one more item uh, in the area that we just dropped down with the huge fall. I think it is a madman's knowledge if I'm not mistaken so I'm not even to go back and get it because we have quite a few of those uh, so for the next episode now that we got whatever that bug was worked out we will be tackling Hemwick Charnel Lane and that's gonna be it alright 